Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Rage and we are back today with another legendary preparation video in regards to Shadow King likely being very soon. Um, right around the corner here, you know, we have uh, the Ancient One getting released today with her offers. Next week we have Emma Frost X-Men. Uh, so shortly afterwards, guys, it's going to either be, if I had to guess based on what we've seen in the past um, legendary events... Usually it's in the week that the final character gets added in. So in this case, X-Men, a version of Emma Frost. Or the following week, just because it kind of synergizes the rest of the team. Now, having said that, guys, I would highly, highly recommend in terms of farming some characters you'll need, right? Obviously, we both uh, know that there's two teams right now um, that are required officially for Shadow King. That's the Illuminati and as well as the Annihilators. Now, thankfully, a lot of these characters, um, you know, have been already kind of prepped in past events, like the Temporal Dimensions. Uh, you know, we have the three piece of Gore, Gladiator, Thanos, Endgame already being utilized in Arena. So hopefully you guys have a lot of these characters already built up and prepared. But I do want to, you know, um, drive home a big message, which is remember at the end of the day that you're going to be gated by whatever star level um, your lowest character is going to be. So yes, some of us may actually be very, very close to unlocking Captain Britain from the candy store, but ultimately it doesn't really matter because he's going to have a three yellow and compared to some of these characters that already are five stars and above, uh, it's going to be more important to focus on these characters as you can use them for the higher uh, difficulties of the legendary event and that's going to give you a higher score, a higher overall potential sharp payout of Shadow King. And ultimately, obviously, do better in uh, in the event overall. So you can see here, um, a lot of my characters are already five stars. Actually, the one that's going to be uh, gatekeeping me here for the stars, anyways, is going to be the uh, Annihilator. So Gore is close to six stars, as you can see there. My Thanos End Game is also close to six stars. So these are the two characters I'm focusing on because my Gladiator is already six stars, so he's good. And then every other character here is already six stars and above. So that's kind of uh, an example of what I'm focusing on. And that's what I would review in your guys' roster. But thankfully, with this week, with a slew of updates and changes, they've also added um, the uh, Annihilator characters into a couple ways that you can actually farm now. Uh, I say farm, but it's not actually reliable. It's more so just giving us a chance, a fighting chance, if you will. So number one, um, they've added the new Battle World store. If you've been working on Battle World each day, as you can see, I've done two days now with almost 1,300. So... It does ramp up a little bit, but every 4,000 of these credits is going to give you an opportunity here to buy shards, right? Not great because that means, you know, even if you do the math here, uh, you you need actually roughly over a week to actually buy one. So unless there's going to be more payout of this coming, it's not going to be as consistent with what we like, especially given the Shadow King is actually probably two weeks away or even sooner. Now, the other way... Uh, and I like this way because of the fact that it's actually been popping out in the store more for me is that um, the Annihilator characters have been added to bumps. So this includes the Ultimate Store. This includes um, things like the Basic Orbs, which I'll show you in a bit. But you, if you see them popping up here in this store, I would recommend buying it for the 9,000 credits. Uh, reason being is because it's guaranteed. Yes, you can go about it in the Ultimate Orb approach. And I'll open a few just to showcase for you. But let's just say you open five, which is equivalent to buying it once right so this is a this is a good one because uh i got hank pym here and we also need him at seven yellow eventually right just uh if you want to obviously unlock a seven yellow of um of shadow king now i'm just gonna open a few more here but it's it's all random which is the downside but you do get if you're a roster that doesn't have a lot of filled up characters this can be very useful for just adding a versatility and the number of wide roster characters so that's five right there i didn't get any annihilator characters and that's kind of my point you can open five uh, every other day or you can just check the store but i personally like the approach of just buying it outright with the 9000 it's pricier but it's guaranteed right and that's kind of what i'm going about now i also want to point out here i've been hoarding and hoarding this for quite some time and that's actually the uh the basic orbs because they've been added officially now into bumps this is going to be one of those opportunities where you may want to consider opening all these right I i've hoarded these like crazily and um, now there's a chance to actually include annihilator characters so why the heck not that's another opportunity if you're also looking for um illuminati and building that up remember that black panther shuri has also been added now into the spotlight raid orb so this is another good one because it can build up some other character shards right black panther shuri pound pool if you don't have uh, him built up all the way to the max yet so overall the good news is that there's a lot of opportunities here um in how you want to utilize your resources even in the candy store right now uh, I'm trying to use all my candies because this is going to be the last uh, 12 days that it's running. 
But you can see, you know, Hank Pym, Black Panther Shuri. This is giving me another opportunity. Again, I don't know where your shark count is at, but I just wanted to list for you all the possibilities. I also want to, you know, drop a heavy disclaimer. Remember, although these two teams are the only disclosed teams that are required, they may not be the bottleneck in how far and how uh, deep you go into the event. Remember last time, it was Cosmic Bio and as well as Hero Skill for the Old Man Logan's event. So um, if I'm trying to cross-reference that to the similar trend now, because they use two, uh, you know, pretty recent, I would say, and, and, and heavier kind of tags, I would suspect, if I had to guess here, that um, there's going to be a good chance that some of the newest teams will be utilized. And uh, two stick out in my mind, and I do want to just quickly talk about it. Um, the two are obviously going to be the newest raid teams. I think there's a good chance Night Stalker, and there's a good chance Orcus. Oh, by the way, guys, let me know uh, how you like the, the new kind of filtering here, because you can actually add multiple tags now. You can add and or or. So it gives you a little bit more versatility, so you can actually look at some separate teams um, on the list or together. But yeah, uh, we have Orcus and Night Stalkers here. Um, I've built up my Orcus because I need them for the tech section, but to be honest, my Night Stalkers have not really been built up because, um, well, I stopped after Blade and Ulth and obviously Man Thing are still kind of on the pipeline there, but actually, I might as well just get the, the rank up there. I didn't even know I had the four star. Cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, these two teams would be the newer teams, and it makes sense because they would want us, encourage us to build up another recent team for us to obviously utilize in, in the new event, right? And the good news is that if you guys already have these teams built up or maximized for raids, um, they're likely going to give you some sort of value in the next legendary event just because they usually try to bring in some of the most recent teams that they've released. And that's a way of encouraging and obviously giving value back to the community and the player base. So it's going to be interesting for myself because I'm doing my Mystic notes quite well because I have Odin and Mephisto. So if they do pop this in there... Uh, my fear is that I might actually have to be forced to build up my Night Stalkers. So we'll see. Obviously, Mad Thing is still close to the unlock here. We got some shards coming finally in his monthly. And then Ulf, uh, her event should be coming up soon. Now that we kind of wrapped everything up, her event should be pretty soon. If I had to guess, probably next week. We'll see in the data mines when they do come out. But anyways, guys, that in a nutshell is how I'm preparing for Shadow King in the coming weeks here. Let me know what your game plan is. Thank you for your time as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.